10 must own clone or Middle Eastern fragrances. Each one of these is either heavily inspired or very, very close to the original. They're all great quality and really good prices. So we're gonna dive into this list, but before we do, please remember to subscribe if you haven't done that. I've got videos like this coming out every two or three days, and I'd love it if you join us. Also, let me know in the comments, which of these have you tried? What do you think of them? How do they compare to the original? Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so first up, this is from a brand that you don't really hear a lot about. I think it's because their distribution in the U.S. is not really all that wide, but I have a few from this brand, and I find them to be pretty good quality. This one is incredible. It's more powerful than the original Prada Loam, and it's a really good clone. So this is Riff's Avant Garde. And so this is basically that soapy, clean, iris, you know, iris forward, but it's that powdery, soapy kind of iris, not the sweet, lipsticky iris. This is one of the cleanest fragrances you'll ever wear. It's got a good dose of woods in there as well. This is, you know, kind of considered to be like the ultimate office fragrance or signature scent but it is strong. If I go more than three or four sprays with this, I get a headache. So maybe that won't be your experience, but it definitely is mine. It's strong stuff. Okay, next, this is a brand that partners with some creators and does collabs and all that. That's not me. I paid for this. I've got a bunch from this brand. I paid for all of them. I'm not sponsored anything like that, but Alexandria Fragrances makes some really good clones. And this one's a clone of a discontinued gem, CH Men Privé, a, basically a boozy, sweeter version of CH Men. This is their version. It's called A Private Man. And it is such a gorgeous fragrance. If you like leathery fragrances with some sweetness, then this is one to go for. It's uh, leathery with some sweetness and a very discernible boozy note that just really causes this to stand apart. I've probably got, I don't know, 25 or so leather-based fragrances. This is, I would say, in my top two or three, probably my top three. It's excellent, a private man. It's very similar to the original CH Men Privé, which you can't even get anymore unless you want to drop 150 bucks on eBay or something uh, or, or even more on the internet. All right, this next one. So this one is, uh, this one's sort of a wild card in the video because different people say it's a clone of different things. I've heard that it's a clone of Noir Extreme by Tom Ford. Others say it's a clone of uh, Valentino Womo Intense mixed with some Dior Homme Intense and maybe even some Givenchy Gentleman EDP. It's a little puzzling, but this is Armaf Odyssey Ohm EDP. This is the black one. There's also a white one. And this one really is a sweet fragrance with uh, a very clear leathery note, a very clear iris. It is a sweet iris, but again, it's not overly lipsticky, but a very discernible iris. It's got some a uh, wonderful sweetness, uh, you, you know, almost like a marshmallowy kind of sweetness. And then it's got a, a leathery vibe as well. You know, this one to me reminds me of like the fall, you know, sitting uh, like, I don't know, by a fire roasting marshmallows, but there's also uh, that, that smell of uh, earthiness and leather. Uh, it's definitely not a clone of Noir Extreme. I don't know how people get that. Uh, and the iris is, is really there, but it's also not super close to the big three iris fragrances. It's just a good fragrance from our moth. I don't even know if it's supposed to be cloning anything directly. All right, next. This one is a clone, and this one kind of blew everyone away when it came on the radar. I think Ash from Gents Sense did a video, and since then, everybody's buying it because it's like a $17 or $18 clone of Armani Code Profumo. This is Sapil Bound. I remember seeing this one on Amazon, you know, a year or two ago, and it had really good reviews, but I couldn't figure out what it was cloning. And then that video came out from Gent Sense, and I picked it up, and I'll tell you, it's a really good clone of Armani Code Profumo, but 
there is a sort of cheap, synthetic, candied sweetness in the opening of this fragrance uh, that, you know, could be off-putting. It's just a lot. It's a very intense, candied sweetness, very synthetic smelling. But about 10 minutes in, that settles down and you get that rich, complex, profumo vibe that you'll be familiar with. And it's a long lasting fragrance. It's like a 10 hour fragrance. It's got good projection. This is a killer for less than $20, Sapil Bound. Okay, next, this is one that I was just so over the moon happy. Fragrance World has done this a number of times this year. I could list off five that I felt this way about, but this one is a clone of one of the uh, um, Guerlain Ideal fragrances. It's a clone of the Extreme. And I had just picked up the EDP a few months before. I was looking at the Extreme. It's hard to find. It's expensive. And then lo and behold, this thing pops up. This is Supreme Loam Extreme. And this is a clone of Guerlain Ideal Extreme. And this is basically a beautiful, uh, it's got uh, some plum in the opening. It's got that almond. It's got a real woodsiness, a cedar note that's very distinct. It is a sweet, uh, woodsy fragrance that I don't have anything else in my collection that smells like this. That unique cedar, that plum, that almond, uh, that a couple of the other Guerlain's, well, all the other Guerlain Ideal, but the ones that I have, it's got that same almond note as the rest of them. It is so good. And, you know, if you find it on Fragrance Buy, you can get it for around $30 or so. So that one is a great pickup. Okay, this is another one that I was blown away by. Number one, because nobody was talking about it. They still really aren't. And number two, I got it for $18 on Amazon. This is a clone of Yves Saint Laurent Y Parfum. And so this is Yeah Parfum by Mason Alhambra. And so it's very, very close to the parfum. I wore this yesterday on one side of my body. Don't ask why. I have a weird fragrance life, always testing things and that kind of thing. Uh, but here's what I'll tell you. I washed it off about seven hours later. I had to go back again with hot soapy water because it was so strong. It was the only thing I could smell still. So it's a good performing clone of Y Le Parfum. But in the opening, Y Le Parfum has this, this effervescent, sparkly, orangey citrus, this bright, sparkly, orangey citrus. And in this clone, that is rolled back by a good 50%. It's still there. You get some sweet, sparkly citrus off the opening. But whenever I smell Y Le Parfum, I actually see it. I mean, it's so strong. It's like I see an orange soda sparkling in front of my eyes. It's not exactly an orange soda spell, smell, but it is a sparkly, bright, sweet citrus. This one's missing about 50% of that in the opening. But once you get past that opening, about 10 minutes later, this gets very, very close to Y Le Parfum. And for $18 on Amazon, it's just a no-brainer pickup. Okay, next, this is another one by Fragrance World. And it's probably in the top three or so clones of Angel Share on the market. This one is cocktail intense and it basically smells like Cinnabon. And so it has a certain kind of sweetness that varies a little from Angel Share. I don't have Angel Share. I am always very honest about it when I don't have a fragrance, but I've worn Angel Share. I've smelled Angel Share. Uh, and I can tell you the first time I smelled Angel Share, I thought, wow, I love Latafa Kamra, but it doesn't smell all that close to Angel Share. This one, on the other hand, does, uh, but it's not 100%. It's not a one-to-one, -one, but it's a lot closer than several of the other clones that have come out. So Cocktail Intense, it has the cinnamon note uh, in force like Angel Share, and that's the thing that I loved about it that made it a lot more similar to Angel Share. All right, next. This one is a clone of Pure Havan, uh, sorry, Pure Malt, not Pure Havan, uh, by Thierry Mugler. It's a discontinued 
fragrance that so many people loved. This is Starman Nebula. And again, I was very honest about the fact that whenever this came out, I have not smelled uh, pure malt. But the guys that I respect who have pure malt, who have done videos, have said this thing is very, very close to pure malt. Here's what I can tell you. I do have the original Amen, and I love it. And I've got uh, some other uh, flankers or clones of flankers. And there is definitely that base of that sort of aromatic, sweet barbershop vibe is definitely in this that's going to link it to the the rest of the line. But what it does have is a booziness. I believe it's a whiskey note. And then it's got some cinnamon sort of over above those other aromatics. And that's what you get with this one. It is a boozy cinnamon Amen fragrance. And from what I understand, that's what Pure Malt was as well. This thing is a gorgeous fall winter fragrance. And you can get it now on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Unbelievable. All right, here's one uh, that I have worn and that I absolutely love. And as soon as I wore it the first time, I thought I've got to get a clone of this. But for a long time, there weren't any good clones of Killian's Intoxicated until this one came out. This is Emir, You're Drugged by Paris Corner. And this is a gorgeous, uh, strong, in-your-face, sweet coffee fragrance. Neeb over at Aromatic says it smells like a Turkish coffee, and I 100% agree with that. It smells like a Turkish coffee the way that it's probably most often drunk, which is no cream, but sugar and tons and tons of spiciness. It's got that gorgeous uh, spiciness right at the front, but it has a very pronounced coffee note and a lot of sweetness. This is very similar, actually, to Mugler Amen, the original, when I first uh, smelled intoxicated, I thought, you know, what is this? It reminds me of something. And then it hit me, oh, it's Amen. And doing a little research online, you see a lot of people say it reminds them of Amen. This is similar, but the coffee note is definitely stronger than it is in Mugler Amen. So this is a great clone of Killian's Intoxicated. Next, we've got a clone of one of the greatest tobacco fragrances ever made, Zerzhov Naxos. This is Paris Corners Emir Vu Elegante. And this is a honey tobacco fragrance with some spice and a little bit of powderiness. It's a softer version of something like Pure Havan, or uh, there's a clone everybody has of Pure Havan, Insurrection Too Wild. This is like sort of a spring version of that fragrance. It's not as strong. It's not as in your face. It's not as dark. It's a lighter, uh, you know, more mass pleasing version of that kind of a fragrance profile. You've got tobacco with uh, some honey, maybe even a touch of that cherry vibe. It's like a pipe tobacco uh, but then you've got some soft spiciness and even a little bit of a powderiness to my nose. This is a gorgeous fragrance and a pretty good clone of Naxos as well, Vu Elegante. So those have been 10 must-have Middle Eastern fragrances, clone fragrances. Let me know what are your must-haves down in the comment. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that and consider giving the video a like. I'm Justin, this is Siage Sense.